What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve an algebraic expression that requires some distribution, okay? So it says four times, and then in parentheses, x plus two minus three x is equal to negative seven. So the first thing you're gonna do here is distribute, okay? So that means you're gonna take this four and then you're gonna multiply it by this first term and then this second term inside of the parentheses. Okay, so I'm gonna have four x, right? Four times x is four x. And then four times two is equal to eight, okay? And since you're adding right here, you just keep that plus symbol right there, okay? Now, bringing down the rest of the equation, we have minus three x is equal to negative seven. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna do is combine like terms. So I'm gonna rewrite this a little bit so it's a little easier to see. So here we have four x, and then we have this minus three x, right? Don't forget, you always have to bring the sign that's in front of it with it. So since there's a minus sign right here next to the three x, I have to bring that minus sign right there also. So minus three x, and then this is plus eight, right? Plus eight and then that's equal to negative seven. Okay, so simplifying a little bit more, four x minus three x is equal to one x, right? But one x, we can also write just as x. And then we have this plus eight part right there is equal to negative seven, okay? So we're almost done here. All we have to do is get x by itself. So in order to get rid of this plus eight, we're gonna subtract eight. And remember what you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. So we're gonna subtract by eight on this side also. Okay, so plus eight minus eight, these just go to zero. So on this side of the equation, all we're gonna be left with is x, and then that's equal to negative seven minus eight, which is equal to negative 15. All right, so your answer right here would be x is equal to negative 15. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.